you doing? I am back with another candle review today and the candle I have for you now is Big Island Bamboo from the Hawaii collection that was just released this 2015. Um, so this is what it looks like. It has the beautiful frosted ombre glass and this one sort of goes from a green to a yellow or a green to like a light lime green. The wax is a plain white kind of cream color and on the top it has the dust cover these dust covers are a little nicer than some of the ones they've done before they're actually made from plastic instead of just paper um, so I guess that is nice and the picture here is absolutely beautiful you have your little palm trees in the background it says big island bamboo you've got your little fronds in the front and then you've got the beautiful like volcano um, big island in the back and the water um, and the cool thing about these is the image that is on the dust cover is also on the bottom where the scent description is um, that is exactly like the coastal cool collection these are set up exactly the same way um, the coastal cool collection also had the plastic inserts and the picture on the bottom as well the only difference is that these are ombre instead of just plain frosted glass so I love this packaging um, this is the first one that I burned from the Hawaii collection because this was the one I was actually most excited about um, this one that's kind of a new scent and so I was like that's the one I want to burn first I'm excited about it um, and I would give this a 10 out of 10 on the packaging but it doesn't have a lid so I cannot give it a 10 out of 10 however I do really really love this frosted ombre glass how beautiful is that how beautiful is the picture here um, this will definitely get repurposed around my house but I literally hate not having a lid so um, I have to only give it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10 on the packaging it would be like a 15 out of 10 if they just gave me a lid that's all I ask that's all I ask, but it's too much. All right, so the sin description on this one says, the exotic trees of the South Seas are celebrated in a blend of tropical green leaves, crystal blue water notes, and a hint of pink coral. So according to the scent description, this has green leaves, water notes, and pink coral. First of all, coral does not have a smell. I mean, if anything, it smells like the sea, like salt water. Um, so that's stupid. But um, the green leaves and the water notes, yes, I absolutely get both of those. Um, to me, this is definitely like an earthy herbal note candle, but it's also got sort of that clean, crisp refreshingness of like a water note candle. To me, this reminds me a lot of Island Waters. Um, Island Waters is a little more perfumey and this is a little more herbally or like greenish, but they have sort of the same base smell. Um, so I could see where maybe they took like the water note that they used in Island Waters and then just mixed it with some sort of green note in there. So yeah, it's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. It's a nice kind of water note candle. I get the water note more than I get the um, leaves or the green note. So I would say like the primary note in this is like a water note and second of all, you get like a green herbal note. And so I love the scent on this. I think it is just so beautiful. Um, it's just, oh, I love how this smells. So I was so excited to burn it because this actually was my favorite scent out of the entire collection. Um, I know they're, you know, repackages or brought back from last year, but this was actually a newer one. And I was just really excited because I loved the smell. You guys know I like kind of green earthy candles a lot as well as like my fruity bakery stuff. But um, I was just really excited about, about this and, um, I gotta say the performance was like a 12 out of 10. Like this candle burned completely flawlessly with zero issues whatsoever start to finish. I literally had to do nothing to it but light it and it was, you know, it had these huge flames inside and so it was like illuminating the glass and it was so, so beautiful. I mean, performance like 12 out of 10. If this is any indication for the rest of the Hawaiian collection, like I am in for a treat because that means they're all gonna perform phenomenally. So it performed like just perform Perfection, but unfortunately the throw was just not not so great like in the first hour or two I burned it I could really smell it I'm like man this is gonna be a good one this is gonna be a good candle but then like 
after like the third hour or in like the next day um, it was kind of like the love and sunshine one it kind of just became sort of unscented where I couldn't smell it a whole lot um, now it wasn't as unscented as the love and sunshine one like if I was in the same room and this was like at the table I was at I could still smell this one but it was really a light throw not like indistinguishable completely but it really did have a light throw so because of that I can only give it like a 5 out of 10 on the throw um, so that was kind of a letdown for me because this was the scent out of the whole collection I was most excited about and it was just kind of like ugh, like I wanted this to be stronger than it was so you know it's a beautiful scent and I love the scent but just the throw wasn't that great um, I did actually recently pick up the wallflower so I'm hoping that the wallflower will still give me that scent but be a lot stronger so that's like my last ditch effort for getting some of this beautiful beautiful scent throughout my house um, so the last question um, I always like to answer is would I repurchase this and it makes me so sad to say that I wouldn't now if it went on sale like you know for like five bucks eight bucks you know if I could get a good candle sale with a coupon I would consider it but um, you know really I was disappointed so I'm gonna burn some of the other ones in the collection and I'm hoping they are stronger and better and you know maybe I'll feel better about the whole thing but um it just makes me sad because this was my favorite smell out of everything this was the one I was most excited about and it just really was not strong um, I had no issues with it so I know it wasn't like the performance messing with the throw um, like if you have wicks that are drowning it's probably not gonna be putting out a whole lot of smell because it's not really burning very good at all but like this burned perfectly and normally if you've got a candle that's burning that quickly and that hot and has those huge flames normally it's gonna be pumping out the smell and it just was uh, you know it was really strong at first and I was like yes this is gonna be great and then just like the last half of the candle I was like eh not so great anymore like it kind of was sad because I was excited so yeah, I won't repurchase another. This one was good enough. I love the glass. I'll definitely reuse that for things. But um, one is enough. I'm hoping that the other ones have, you know, a better result. And maybe I can go back and stock up on some of the other scents in the collection. So let me know if you guys have burned Big Island Bamboo yet and what you thought of it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one as well. Um, so that's it for this one. And I will see you next time. Bye.